My name is Victor Jernigan, and I'm with the Knoxville Real Estate Investor Association, Knox RIA. And we sent out uh, a, an email survey to people who had attended our previous meetings looking for things that they were really interested in, topics that they wanted more information on. And of the 27 <laughs> different items that we received back, it seems like one of the top issues was how do you find new leads? How do you get ahead of your competition? Well, what I want to tell beginning investors, people who are being told that they can have mail list and email list and you're going to be able to send out letters to find desperate sellers and thereby find motivated buyers. The problem with that is everybody sends out letters. These are just a sample of letters that were sent coincidentally to a friend of mine who owns two rental properties side by side. He receives letters like this on a regular basis and all they have done is motivate him to call me who he knows to be in the real estate business as an investor. The letters have been certainly helpful in motivating someone to at least inquire about what their property might be worth or how they would go about selling it. And then also, why are so many people sending him letters? The big problem is that nobody that sends out these mail lists does any proofing of the mail list. So again, the two houses are side by side and he gets one yellow letter to one house and another yellow letter, exactly the same obviously, to the, to the next door house. Of course, he gets all the mail. Sometimes he gets really nice letters on nice stationery, but then he gets the second letter and it's exactly the same. So whatever benefit that really nice letter on really nice stationery may have had didn't help at all. They've helped me, but they haven't helped the people who are sending the letters. And what the reason and the reason that I'm saying this to you, do not chase the idea that you can make finding properties robotic. All this winds up doing is generating leads back to you for properties that have already been researched by other people that are in the real estate business. If you do use a mailing list, and that they can be really beneficial, I don't want to say that they are not beneficial, but if you're going to use them, use them um, as more as a rifle rather than a shotgun. You want to be able to focus on coming up with First off, you should always remember when you're shooting a video, turn your phone off so it doesn't ring in the middle of the video. But more importantly, you should definitely follow up and edit your own email list to look for where an owner owns multiple properties and or side-by-side -side properties owned by the same people. Then you can really focus your mailings on those specific people and those specific properties. It'll give you a much greater return on your investment and a much greater opportunity to increase profits when you do find the properties that you're looking for. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video. I hope that little bit of information helped you. And for whoever sent out all of these mailers, thank you very much.